Hello there everyone, this is Dan for TGN Let's Play and I would like to welcome you back to Hitman Blood Money. This is the final level on the game called Amendment 25 and uh, I thought it would only be fitting if I play this last level live. Um, I haven't done it for a lot of them because of how kind of awkward they are and things like that but um, I'm going to go through here. But I thought this would be the most... Uh, the, the most fitting way to end it. So, uh, we kind of messed up, messed up our, like, uh, timings at the beginning. Which is boss. Because we need to wait for this guy here to come into this bathroom so we can sedate him. But, oh well. We might as well start as we mean to go on. And, um, you know, have things going wrong. So, it looks like he's going to come back. Uh, I've brought the sniper with me on this level. This is, like, one of the levels that you definitely need to have a weapon with you for one of the fights at the end you need to fight the assassin so um i have brought that with me um i do not know if like i guess you could just sort of run up to him and uh like sort of kill him with your fists or whatnot but um you know this is the best way to do it i'm trying to get silent assassins so you know so we want to get his suit Drag him just a little bit over here. Pick up this case. Go straight through this door and then out into the cold. Maybe sedate this guy as well. And it gets really noisy when you're outside for some reason. But uh, we need to take his suit and drag him all the way over here. So there are a lot of things on this mission that you kind of need to go right for it to um, for it to work properly for you. Um, especially because if you mess up on a couple of things, um, time becomes a problem. Because a lot of the things that you kind of like that can go wrong if they do go wrong. You have to wait a long time for them to uh, come back around again. So, if you come into this room, uh, pick up the keycard, and we'll take the security tape while we're here. And then we want to get the SLP, and then just put it away come out into this main room and then start heading into the main building um yeah to get the vice president first of all it's that can go like terribly wrong so if we go through here follow this all the way around into this building if you choose the wrong room or the wrong timing you'll have to wait for him to like go outside walk his dog come back through and it's an absolute pain so what we want to do Just pick this lock. Hello everyone, this is Dan for TGN Let's Play and I am bringing you the final mission walkthrough for Hitman Blood Money. Um, this level is called Amendment 25 and it's a pretty tough level, I'm not going to lie. Uh, many things can go wrong and I thought it would be fitting if I do this level like live um, for it being the last level the unfortunate thing is, is that we've kind of already missed one of our opportunities but there's nothing really we can do about it we need to wait for the guy to come into the toilet and when the guy does come into the toilet we can sedate him but this is already like the fifth time I've tried this mission and uh, I keep getting caught at the same point constantly and it's like not even the hardest bit on the level um, it's where you've got to get the vice president in, in his office, but, you know, it is the final level, I guess, and things are bound to go wrong. I keep getting caught trying to get into that room there. Right. Well, the first thing we need to do is sedate this guy. God, wasn't that quite quick, didn't it? Once this guy is sedated and we've picked up our rifle case, we can leave the bathroom, close the door behind us and head straight through into here, if he doesn't shut the door in our faces. You 
want to get this guy as well. Because we need his uh, marine suit. It gets very loud when you go outside. I do apologise. Just drag this guy over here. Come on. Pick up his suit. Pick up the rifle again. Oh yeah, I brought a sniper with me onto this mission. Um, just because to get the assassin at the end. Oh god. Go on, open the door. Open the door. Um, to get the assassin at the end. Like there are, It's kind of the best way to do it, to get your silent assassin rating. Uh, I guess that you could do it like hand to hand but I wouldn't recommend it especially if you want to be worried about your health so after we take the, uh, the key card and the security tape you want to get this gun and some ammo then you head out and we need to go into the main part of the building so if you just run through here I think this is a very inaccurate White House as well um, I was a big fan of the West Wing the show and I know that that was built, uh, that was designed around like the exact um, dimensions and layout of the White House. So I'm not saying that it's any worse. I'm just, you know, making an observation. This is where I keep getting caught because if you wait too long, the guy who's patrolling will see you. As he goes that way, we can. Pick this lock. Um. And we just take him like that. Nice and easy. We want to take his key card. And we want to drag him just to this uh, this bin at the back. Well, box, I guess. Anyone excited for the new one? I cannot wait. It's been a while. Like uh, there was a big fear for me that they wasn't like they weren't going to make a new one, and uh, I was getting pretty worried. Oh, <laughs> that was very cool. Get away from me, dog! Hate dogs on this game. Yeah, and I was actually uh, getting pretty worried that they weren't going to make a new one. So when it was an when it was announced, um, happy days for everyone. Really, so we want to go here. We need to climb up. I don't think we can climb up this without being. Come on, we'll try. It. Oh, right. It's apparently it's not weird to see. Uh, a US Marine climb <laughs> climb over a uh, trellis. Right, I think this is the thing that'll probably take the longest to happen. Waiting for the Marine, uh, the Secret Service man to come out here. So what I'll do, I'll stop recording until he comes out because it does uh, it does take a while. So let me just stop it here. Right, and he's going to come out now. There he is. So you, because we haven't got any, well, oh we do have, why do we have one set still left? Hmm. We'll do this the fun way, and uh, use our gun. So what I do is just walk up behind him and push E. And then all we're going to do is just walk him all the way around here so it's uh, quicker than dragging him. Or is it quicker than dragging him? I really don't know. But it's only so no one sees us when we go through that door. So, here should be okay. If we just. Oosh! Take his suit. Take our rifle again. And now we're okay to actually like move through this area, no problem. I don't understand why it's so loud outside in comparison to how quiet it is in here. Really? <coughs> Excuse me, it does me add in, it really does. So uh, we just need to run through all the all the way through here and find our way into the Oval Office. 
Anyone ever been to the White House? Because I think that would be like cool as anything. So yeah, let me know if you've ever been to the White House or if you wish to go to the White House. I think that's probably interesting as well. Right, and then we go into here to face our assassin. So, you're the famous Mark Percesi the Third. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. A blamo. So the difference is, like, on this part now is that you don't want to get too close to him. Uh, we can't kill him at this point anyway. So uh, we really don't want to get too close because he does start shooting at you. And for some reason, it likes to take off a... Uh, secret services. Move away. Uh, it does take off a hell of a lot of damage. So I wouldn't recommend going right up in front of him. But if you can make your way through the mazes of the officers... Oh crap. And pretty much we just need to make our way back upstairs. Onto the roof. Let's see. Finally run our way through. And he will be down there somewhere. Yeah. So, you want to get to this point and then just uh, unpack your sniper rifle. And if I can remember what the zoom in button was, we'll be cooking on gas. No, crouch, crouch. What is it? Aha! Where are you? Here we go. <laughs> uh, go off that. Put away our rifle. And that's us done. Um, the only thing we have to do now is just escape. and uh, I can't really foresee that going too wrong. Um, once again, there are probably about 15 different ways you can do this level. Uh, I know you can throw your guns over the wall. Oh, crap. Up slowly. No. Forty-seven. And that's possibly the most damage I've took on this entire war through is running through that way. But um might as well uh, say now, like, you know, I I hope that you did enjoy. I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost that way. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this let's play uh, as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um I keep saying a let's play, it was a walkthrough. Uh, hopefully it did help a lot of you, you know, figure out how to get silent assassins on some of the more trickier levels. Um, I think a lot of it is down to more perseverance than anything else. Uh, which way am I going? Where the hell am I going here? Uh, I haven't been. Have I even been here? I think I've gone the wrong way. Um, I think a lot of it is more down to perseverance than anything else. Um, some of the levels are a pain in the ass, and you can get caught in like the most ridiculous of ways. I think this is the way you go. But you know, it's pretty easy once you've got your head round it all. Please, this be the correct way. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Yes. Um, you know, some of the harder levels like this, you know, there are many times where things can go wrong and you can be caught, but I'm, I guess a lot of it is down to luck. But um, remember that, like, you know, if you... I know I'm doing Syndicate at the moment as well, but if you have got any ideas on what you'd like to see me do in the future, please leave a comment. Um, remember to subscribe to TGN Let's Play and come over to my channel and subscribe there because I'm sure you'll find some stuff that you'll enjoy from me. But uh, this has been Dan, and... If we exit here, we will see that we got a silent assassin. Let's see. There you go. 12 minutes. Not bad. Right. But, uh, yeah, once again, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.